In this demonstration, we can take a look at some of the new features within ArtCam Jewelsmith 2009. We're going to start by taking a look, first of all, the What's New Guide. So if we select this, we can see anything that's new and has been added to ArtCam Jewelsmith 2009 in the overview section. Now most of these will be gone through on separate demonstrations but in this demonstration we'll be taking a look at the autosave tool and also the favorite tab. So if we close the what's new down the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to edit and to the options page so we're going to take a look at the new autosave feature. For those people not familiar with the ArtCam's options page, it allows you to permanently edit all of the settings within ArtCam Jewelsmith. So we have the ability to change what any of the colors of the vectors look like on overlapping vectors or toolpath simulations. We can change the speed in which the object spins at, machining strategies, but also, and the main thing we're interested in is this new auto save settings feature in the bottom of the ArtCam options page. You can turn off the auto save by unchecking the box or we're going to turn it on. We can also select how often we save. So I'm going to type in three minutes. And down below we have how long of inactivity before it saves. So I'm just going to apply this on three minutes. Now this is not activated until you make one initial save within the ArtCam product itself. So we're going to create firstly a new project and then create a new model. Save it as 50 by 50 millimeters so that's opened as a 50 by 50 millimeter sheet. And we're going to save this. And we're going to save it onto my desktop. And we're going to save this as Jewel Smith 2009. So we're going to save that as a 3DP file. So every three minutes from now, it will automatically save the file. Now the next thing we're going to look at is this star at the top of the screen. This is our new favorites tab. Now there's a lot of tools within this program that I find I don't use quite frequently. So for example, the back relief tools and the gem tools may not be ones that I use enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my edit my favorites and anything that is grayed out is not going to show up within my list but there will be other tools which I will use more frequently so my relief clip art library, my mesh creator I may find that there are certain tools so create gem vector and create gems are probably the ones I'm going to use more over the pave wizard I like to use my sculpting tool and a few of the other tools here my vector doctor so what we'll do now is if we come to favorites on and just select the star again we can see this is now my favorites tab so anything that I have selected in grey will be hidden and anything I have left showing bold will show up when my favorites tab is on now if we happen to want to use some of those tools again it is as simple as just selecting the favorites tab and turning them back on. Also don't forget if there are regions you can just hide certain regions or grouping of tools to hide them out of your way but you will find that the favorites tab is much more of a preferable method. Please take some time to have a look over the rest of the ArtCam Jewelsmith 2009 demonstrations to see some of the new features 
within Joe Smith.